Sanderson. Thank you for the introduction. <laughs> okay. My name is Bruce Anderson. Uh, I'm local, as you can tell. <laughs> I moved here in 1986 with my three-year-old son. In 1989, after attending a private kindergarten, we went to first grade at Dixie. My first day at Dixie School, I met Mr. Lohauser. I don't think he was a doctor at that time. I may be wrong, but I don't think he was yet a doctor. I asked him, this name, it doesn't make sense to me. This, I've been in this area. Why is this name here? At that time, he didn't have an answer, and he said, I'll get back to you. Since that time, 1989, even though you've heard things started in 1986, since that time, I've asked every Dixie official I've met, usually the first time I've met him, Mark, I met you when you approved Jennifer's, or when you guys voted on Jennifer to become a Dixie board member. I asked you at that meeting at Miller Creek about the Dixie name. Jennifer, I met you about a month later after you came back onto the board at a function at Dixie High School, at Dixie School as a dance or something. Dr. Lohauser introduced us together as I was talking to him about the Dixie name. Marnie, I probably asked you before you were elected, and I know I've talked to you since you've been elected to the position. Alyssa, same thing. I think I talked to you before you were elected, and I know I've said something to you since you've been elected. And Brad, I've asked you so many times and talked to you so many times about this, I think you avoid me. <laughs> I love you, Bruce. I met Dr. Yashimiro last year at my grandson's sixth grade pre opening day. I asked him. Pardon? I asked him about it, too. So the last few years, the responses have been more open and considerate, some positive, and some encouraging. Attitudes are changing rapidly in this country as the country wakes up to the oppression and non-exclusiveness of Confederate symbols and Confederate names and symbols. And that is the key, equity and inclusion. Each school is starting programs that I've heard. What better subject than the history of the district and how to increase inclusion? I'll skip down. I wrote a letter. I seriously did expect a response. I have not gotten a response from the letter that I wrote last year, last um, meeting. In the letter, I asked the board recognize the facts about the name of the district and asked the board to take note of the symbolism of Dixie name and begin a process to change it. And I'll be back. Thanks.